Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the Bella Hadid inspired bun but with a little bit of a twist on it and also for curly hair specifically. I know that this probably looks like what most people would do their hair if they're trying to kind of do the same hairstyle but this video is um, kind of showing you how to do it if you have thicker curlier hair, how to really lay down your hair and make everything super slick back, what products to use and yeah you, you threw me off there, I get shy. <laughs> Okay, so the things you'll need to do um, this hairstyle is what I use a brush. I just use a super thick brush with a lot of bristles, something that can like really slick back your hair. I use a wet brush also, or like a paddle brush, whatever you guys have to like kind of comb your hair and get the curls out. I use a toothbrush to lay my edges, and I use this product to lay my edges. I'm gonna go more in depth um, throughout the video and tell you guys like what I'm actually using. But just make sure you have some sort of edge control. Um, bobby pins are optional, but just in case, you know, your hair is being a little bit more stubborn. And then I use some sort of mousse um, to really slick back my hair. That's what you'll need. And also, um, grab three hair ties. And, and yeah, let's just, let's get started with the video. First thing you want to do is try to comb out your hair or brush out your hair. Obviously, like it takes so long to you know brush out hair. You don't have to like make it super smooth and straight. Just just manageable to like put it in a bun. And I just you know my thing just start off on your ends and then go up just to avoid breakage. And I like to use a wet brush. It just gets through the knots and everything without completely like you know pulling out those parts of my hair that are more tangled. But yeah. It's gonna take a minute, but just try to brush your hair the best you can without, you know, breaking it in. Yeah, it doesn't have to be super smooth. So, I brushed out my hair. It's definitely still tangled. You can probably see like through my hair, like it's tangled in some bits, but it doesn't matter. Um, you just want it to be like mostly brushed out and yeah, this is how This is how my hair looks. I have a lot to deal with right now because I am trying to grow out my hair and We're gonna get this into a tiny bun. The first thing you obviously want to do is um, part your hair. I just grabbed um, Like a mirror here like a little highlighter mirror and then I grabbed this like pimple popper tool that I don't use just because it's you know sharper but I'm just gonna straighten out this line really quick and to me this is like the most important part because it's like the foundation of the hairstyle so just you know take your time with this and you know do it to your liking obviously Okay, I think that that's, um, I think that's good enough for me. If you hear like little rattling in the background, it's just my puppy, he's just like moving around. So if you hear that, that's, that's him. Once you have the split part, this is usually where I used to start spraying water and all that, but now I just use edge control for my part. Um, I use edge control because first off, it's super sticky and it keeps your hair down, which is the important part. And second, it's clear and just, you know, it, it blends right perfectly with my hair. So I get the edge control and I put it on my fingers, I put like a good amount, and then I flatten it out here in this area. And this just makes like the line look way more crisp and neat. Yeah, I just put it throughout this part of my hair like that and flatten it out like that. <laughs> I look so crazy. It's called So Snatched Edge Gel by Emerge. I just found this at Target and thought that, you know, I thought maybe this would be good and ever since then I've been using it and we're gonna use some more. So I'm gonna add some more to like this part of my hair where, you know, the hairs are shorter so sometimes it's harder to slick back. Like that. 
And sometimes I do have to say, like when I brush my hair with this in it, sometimes it does get a little bit flaky. But then I just grab like a serum or like even Vaseline and like kind of smooth it throughout my hair and it just goes away. So, you know, if that happens to you, do that too. And next we're gonna grab our brush. So it's very important to me to use like a very like rough, hard brush. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like this is like super heavy duty. I would recommend something like this, but you know, um, any brush works. It'd probably just take longer to use another brush. And so I just start pushing all my hair backward like this. And try to like keep this line here. Um, I didn't obviously put the line all the way back just because I'm doing a high bun like Bella does and I just wouldn't need to do that just because my hair is going to be here but try to um, try to maintain like this line and not like brush it back so you're just going to brush all your hair and I like to do my buns like super super insanely tight just so it kind of gives you like a nice facelift if that makes sense and we're gonna do our first tie now we're not gonna this is not gonna be a final tie we're gonna take the hair tie out actually um we're just gonna do this to add like our product and stuff so just put it in a little like messy like soup like bun like this it doesn't matter i know this looks crazy but now that this part and the back part of your hair is up you can start you know putting more product in other places so after i use the edge gel my mom gifted me this like Redken um, curl mousse and I found out that for my like curly routine it doesn't really lift my curls that well it actually like pulls them down and weighs down my hair but I found that what it is good for is kind of like slicking back like my hair so like those types of hairstyles just because it is so super sticky and heavy and so I like to use this it's just called Redken Curvaceous High Foam Mousse but I wouldn't recommend buying this just to do hairstyles like this, you could obviously just use like some sort of hairspray or like regular mousse. But I just use this because I have it. And it's super white and what it does is foam up as soon as you like mix it together. And it's just super sticky so that's why I love using it for hairstyles like this. And you can see like what I mean when I say it's white. But grab your whatever you're using. I use this and then I make sure to put it through the back of my hair too. I think like sometimes we tend to forget about the back of our hair and so like there's fuzzies or it's just like you know super messy back there or you know a lot of flyaways so it's very important to do that and I'm just gonna grab some more Ooh, a lot and um, just make sure it's really out throughout my entire head just because I really want like this bun to last the whole day and I almost want it to be like bulletproof like you ever do a hairstyle where it's just super super tight and like there that you don't have to like worry about it getting messed up that's how i like my hair to be when it's up and so the rest of the product you get you're gonna want to drag it out through um your hair and you can you know you, you can use like a um leave-in conditioner or whatever but the reason why i do this and i think it's important for curly hair is just because it is like fuzzy after you brush it out and once you put it in that bun you don't want it to be like super thick you don't want it to um be like frizzy or anything so i always put product throughout the end of my hair when i'm doing these hairstyles just so it looks more put together and i'm just gonna go through again with the brush just to really work everything in there um just to create the tightest bun possible with all of this hair to deal with so you're gonna grab your brush again i just combed my hair so you're gonna grab the hard brush and then we're just gonna repeat the same thing where we drag all of our hair and put it back except like we're actually going to be finalizing how it looks and um, I don't really like the my hair to like frame my face so I wouldn't usually do it to like, show you guys what I mean I wouldn't do my bun like this just because I feel like it accentuates my forehead and I feel like my forehead is pretty big so I like to actually like push my hair back and although I'm exposing my forehead even more, I feel like it doesn't really um, look as like prominent just because I'm not framing it and like drawing attention to it, if that makes sense. And so we're gonna do that with the rest of our hair and then we're also gonna brush the back of our hair. And notice how like I brush all my hair into my hand and I grab it. I don't just brush it and then grab it in the end just because I want 
my bun to be super tight but it obviously depends on you know how you like to do your hair I just personally like how it looks like when it's super tight and I like how it feels so once you're done with the top of your hair don't forget to do the bottom and same thing just grab it your hair into your hand and make sure you like get all parts So, um, wait, I do have a little bump here. <laughs> Alright guys, so I grabbed all my hair, brushed it to my liking for the most part. Let me pull some more hair back. Um, this is how I like my hair to look. Everything seems super smooth and in my hand. And so the next thing you're going to do is obviously grab your hair tie. I usually use two of these like super chunky hair ties and then wrap it and then it gets your hair really tight. It also grabs curly hair, like thicker hair, way better than like a hair tie like this. But I can't find another one of these. I bought a whole packet, but you guys know how it goes. Like they disappear. So I'm going to use this and then one of these thinner ones. Okay, so what I'm going to do is fold it like this, like double tie it, and then I'm going to grab one of these and add it on there. So it's basically like three hair ties in one. I think this is really important for like curly hair and thicker hair just because, you know, hair bands snap and also it's hard to like get all your hair in just one hair tie. And then we're just going to start tying it. Okay, so all my hair is slicked back in this little ponytail, but as I was tying it, I did get a few little bumps here and there, so I'm going to go back with the brush and like get the little bumps that I see and, you know. Okay, so to me, this is good enough. Honestly, like I could change a little bit just because I feel like this looks a little awkward, but um, I'm not taking this hairstyle. I'm not taking this hair tie off. It took way too much effort to put it in. And then I'm gonna just grab the um, mousse again and then just put it in my hand and just slick back my sides. And yeah, it does get white, but it's gonna go away. But I'm not going to put too much just because I don't want it to be super heavy in product. And then I'm going to use the rest for my ponytail again. Okay. So that's how it looks. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, put it in the bun. So just a tip, if you do have like super, super thick hair, I think my hair is thick but obviously like there's big thick hair I would if you can't get you know your bun super small or like tighten it the way you want to I would first twist it you know like twist your hair and then wrap it in a bun if you're having trouble like getting a you know smaller bun but I just you know do a little twirl and put it up so this is my hair <laughs> this is almost like the hardest part to me because it's either hit or miss sometimes my bun looks all lopsided or whatever but child and error right and so make sure you tighten up your hair make sure it's nice and tight because once you put it in a bun it's not going back like that okay so now that my hair is tightened for sure excuse my dog barking in the back but I'm going to start at the top of my ponytail and really like twist it like that 
And then once it's all twisted, just start wrapping your bun around your hair tie. And it actually turned out the way I wanted it. So then I'm gonna grab one of these hair ties, just a smaller one. I only use one for the most part, unless like it's stubborn, but I just tie it around twice. And then that's the hairstyle. That's literally the foundation, but I'm gonna do a little bit more stuff to it because you know, um, you know I love my edges laid, so that's what we're doing next. But look at, look at this. So. This is my bun. I absolutely love how it turned out. It's just the way I like it, but I obviously like to do my edges and for you guys out there, I feel like doing your edges really like brings it all together. Like it, it amps it up and obviously I don't think Bella does her edges. I mean, for obvious reasons, but I personally like to do it. So um, I always start off with the middle here and I just try to bring as much hair as possible Again, I'm going to use this um, edge um, gel, uh, and then I use a toothbrush, and I just switch between this toothbrush and another green one, but I can't find the green one, and this one sometimes like spreads out my hair too much, but we're just going to work with it. So I take out hair like this, I don't have much hair actually, <laughs> I'm going to use this mirror so I can be more precise, but um, zoom in if you like, yeah, I just take out hair like that, and then... Once it's out, I like to just curve it with my finger like this and just swoop it like that. But I don't like to do anything like too crazy or like sometimes I feel like, you know, the way some people do their edges could be a little bit obnoxious sometimes, but you know, just do it based on like how you like it. And then I just do the same thing with the other parts of my hair and I just pull it out with the brush like this. And then I use my finger just to oh hell no yeah and then I use a brush and I brush back the hair just so it doesn't you know fly away later on in the day and then I just repeat doing the same thing but just throughout the rest of my hairline here's funny like if you can't tell like my hair here is like pushed back compared to here and it's because when I was younger I used to like do side part buns and like super slick back and so like this side just has less hair but because of that the hair here is a little longer on my edges and what I like to do sometimes is take out a little bit more hair like that and then I like to like kind of curve my edges into a circle sometimes it's harder than others but sometimes it's does it so I'm gonna try to do it and maybe I'll have to do it off camera because I can't see shit I just do like a little curve just because I have like more hair then I just think it adds a little bit more personality and then I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did on the other side here and just push back my hair like that and yeah that's how i do my hair and this is what we call the bella hadid hairstyle but obviously this existed way before maybe in ballerinas and other people but like she definitely brought it back and it's definitely a trend and especially for the summertime when you know you're gonna go on a beach you're gonna wet your hair all the time you obviously don't want to wash your hair all the time just because it's not the healthiest thing to do and this is just definitely one of my go-to hairstyles one that I've grown to love, one that I definitely do maybe a little too much just because I like a little bit more versatility in my hairstyles but this is one of my favorites definitely try this out at home I loved how it turned out let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching hallelujah 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 bye guys love y'all